We are here just after the LCS Championship with one and only Jack Etienne. How are you feeling, Jack? I'm uh, feeling wonderful. It was a, an amazing end to 10 years of LCS. Um, in summer of 2013, we won the first summer split that we played in. And then almost 10 years later, we finally get another win in summer. It took a little while, but it feels good to get it done. And I think that people really want to know, like, of course, you're coming fresh off the win, you and the boys out there. But what does it truly feel like to capture another LCS title? Like deep down inside, what's it feel like? Um, it always feels like you get a, like a tingly feeling from your toes all the way up to the top, like, you know, to your scalp. Like, oh my God, is this actually happening? We're actually going to pull this off? Is this a dream? Like someone pinch me? And like you hear the crowd and it's like, oh, it's amazing. I can't really explain it, but it's a, it's a fucking moment. This year, Worlds uh, coming back to America for the first time in six years. What's it mean to you to have Worlds be back in NA? Man, it's been a long time. Um, and I just saw the group draw. And seeing our group just made me laugh because we've got T1 in there, we got EDG in there. And that's not the first time that we've had those guys in our group. Um, and we even have like the same mid laners, which is super weird. Like all three teams have the same mid laners with Faker and Scout and Jensen. It's a total trip. Uh, but uh, having that here in North America is wonderful. Like I don't have to go boot camp across the world. We can just next week start scrimming against 100 and EG. It's going to be great. Is there anyone in particular, teams-wise, that you're looking forward to facing at Worlds? Yeah, I want to fuck up T1. That's right, Joe. Coming for you. Beyond that, though, the ultimate question, obviously, people repeat ask this, especially when it's coming back to America. Is it going to be different for NA teams this year at Worlds? I mean, yeah. Um, we're actually have like a, a crowd cheering for us, like having all you guys like out, you know, hearing the crowd chanting for us. It's it's unusual. We don't actually have it when we're out there internationally. Um, you know, we'll be when we've had events like in other regions, like when uh, when we would get up on stage, like half the place would be empty. Um, this is different. This is going to be our time for you guys to cheer for us. Balancing is something a bit different. Uh, a lot of rumors out there of teams maybe wanting to come into the LCS, maybe some fresh blood across other regions too. We have Mr. Beast, obviously a, a big rumor out there, maybe Moist Critical, some creator influence, maybe some teams with uh, some fresh names that want a chance to come into the LCS. Mm. What do you think about when you hear those kind of things? Yeah, I heard some rumors. I mean, that'd be amazing. Uh, I want... Uh I want more teams that are actually participating in the league. Um, you know, it feels like half the teams are just there to, you know, play minimum salary and not really try. So I want to get those guys out of here. So I love it. I think I, I've seen like what Moise has done with, with Rocket League. Um, he's getting into Apex. Like I want to see those guys in LCS. One last one for you. Um, we were looking for young talent out there, rookie talent or young talent, to be the next big names. You know, it doesn't always have to be outspoken, but skill-wise or personality-wise, who do you think of the young talent out there right now is the next Doublelift, is the next Bjergsen, or those next big names? I mean, Fudge dude. <laughs> he is our young talent. I mean, he's been around for a bit. The guy is still a young man. He's like the next big name in our league. Well, Jack, thank you very much. Go celebrate your win, and thank you for giving us the time. Yeah, thank you.